About five days ago, La Palma started showing signs that it was about to start erupting. Um, and at this point, there was about five vents of the volcanic floor that were opened up when it started creating a mass casualty event. As you can see here, they didn't start evacuating people until um, two days ago in the evening time. So far, at least 10,000 people as of yesterday are working on being evacuated and over 160 homes have been destroyed. 6,000 people were ordered to lose their homes. Even more disheartening and terrifying for anybody in these areas is that it's leaking toxic gases into the water system, which is at this point boiling. If you touch the water, you are going to half third degree burns or possibly die from burns and this is including hydrochloric acid and volcanic glass into the water system what does this have to do with us the next series of photos that i'm going to show you are geological and volcanic studies done by um oxford and they've been done over the course from the mid 90s all the way up until 2016 and this study was released in 2017. I will be posting all of the links to these articles that I'm going to show you in the description. Um, as you can see, these are a list of all of the chemicals in all of the lava flows in of the volcanoes that are on the Canary Islands. The strongest geochemical changes thus follow on the giant Cumbre Nueva collapse of Taburiente Volcano. And that was released in 1998. And then it was not known at the time if that explosion caused the shift of the volcanic activity to go southward. And they're not sure if they were related. But in the next studies I'm going to show you, they are. The more evolved melts are ubiquitous at Bayonado and Cumbre Vieja, but are in the pre-collapse units, meaning there's strong potential that they'll collapse. And then we started seeing this image float around, which made me ask the question, why have I not found any of this information regarding the safety of 100 million people on any American news sites? other than it's all gonna be contained, we're all safe, we're evacuating the people, nothing to worry about. Until the finalization of that article from Oxford, La Palma lavas were largely caused by relative southward movements of the melt producing region. So I want you to take a minute and pause to read one through four in the conclusions. So this study was done by the Hazard Research Center at the University of London and in 2001, they warned about the risk of a tsunami that would pose if there were ever a new eruption at Cumbre Vieja. The collapse of the slope more than 3,000 meters high in whose highest area of the volcano is located. Now, a lot of Canary scientists and others posed that this was impossible because they were only looking at the evolutionary growth. But look at this. For the flank of Cumbre Vieja to meet conditions close to instability, an earthquake of very high magnitude would have to occur simultaneously with an eruption with a high rate of explosiveness or its natural growth. But how many earthquakes have we been seeing globally at 7, 8, 9.0 magnitudes with global aftershock because the tectonic plate system is connected? So here we see future eruption of Cumbre Vieja volcano would experience a rupture on its west flank, throwing 150 to 500 cubic kilometers of rock into the sea, says report. Given the current rise and adverse geological phenomena at La Palma, the registers, the theory of a tsunami has regained its strength. Why has it regained its strength? because of the erroneous data that had been previously released and they forgot the analysis that Cumbre Vieja is on the edge of a cliff facing the sea. They were only talking about the volcanic walls being high enough. They did not mention that it was seated on a cliff, adding to that height. So take a Some eminent cliff. scientists warn that it's purely a matter of time till it happens. 
This is the volcanic island of La Palma, 700 miles off the northwest coast of Africa. They have traced the fault for at least nine miles along the island ridge. And they believe the fault is so long that when it cracks open, 500 billion tons of rock will slide thousands of feet down into the ocean. From water particle to water particle across the ocean. As the landslide's energy approaches the coast, it builds up into a massive wall of water. These deep reds and blues are computer predictions of waves 100 feet high and more. So we look here at the same report by the Hazard Research Center. The Cumbre Vieja volcano on the island of La Palma could experience a catastrophic bankruptcy on its west flank, throwing nearly 500 cubic kilometers of rock into the sea. We just saw that video. Go down to the instability of this um, area, a very high magnitude earthquake would have to occur at the same time with that eruption to cause that explosive index. Again, we're looking at the tectonic aftershocks of all of the um, earthquakes that we've been seeing worldwide in places that haven't seen earthquakes in a very long time. Read down, it says La Palma, the land on the Atlantic Ocean would cause a tsunami with waves between 20 to 25 meters and would hit not only the Canary Islands, mainland Spain, Portugal, but also different areas of the coast of Africa would even reach the city of Bristol, England, and the fall of this piece of land over the sea would create a wall of water that would move faster than an airplane and reach the east coast of the American continent. The lateral collapse of Cumbre Vieja after crossing the Atlantic would cause a great sequence of waves between 10 to 25 meters high on the east coast of the American continent. That's all of the East Coast, including the Gulf, including uh, Panama, all the way down to Brazil. And 10 to 25 meters is about 100 to 150 feet high. But why am I not even shocked? In 2018, the New York City Council included in its agenda of natural phenomenon the possibility of a tsunami from the Canary Islands. So why are we not even being warned about this? I live on the East Coast. On the American East Coast alone, there's nearly 40 million lives at stake. And if it was included in your plan in 2018, why are we being silent now? The existence of the East Coast of the United States of at least seven nuclear power plants. That is a factor of sufficient weight to understand the added concern generated by the U.S. authorities as a possible eruption from the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Now, yes, more activity needs to be going on for this to take place becomes more concerning when we realize that yesterday Mount Etna started erupting in Italy. Today, September 21st, after the recent events in the Canary Islands, Mount Etna on the Italian island of Sicily is already erupting, throwing ash and lava into the sky. Volcanic activity began at about 6.15 a.m. with the release of ash, and after 40 minutes there was renewed activity in the southeastern crater, the most active of the last eruptions of Etna. The eruptive cloud, formed as a result of current activity, has reached a height of 9 kilometers. It can be seen from the cities of Catania and... So seeing that the American news outlets have not properly reported on the dangers that we are seeing, while there is a tsunami um, warning system in place, if they decide to do it, it is only six hours notice which is not enough time to evacuate and not end up in traffic. And then you're stuck in the death zone anyway, which is anywhere from 50 to 100 miles out, depending on the area and the buildings and things that are in the pathway to slow down the spread of the water, which becomes even more disconcerting when we have nine hours. Evolution of the tsunami as a result of the La Palma landslide it's two minutes and nine hours later is when it will reach the United States coast. National Geographic and the BBC produced two documentaries under the title of End Day. One of the events of the five that could signify an end of humanity, one of them was the fracture 
of the Palmyra volcano. That's Cumbre Vieja. So moving faster than an airplane, thank you to Stephen Ward and Simon Day of the Cumbre Vieja volcano study. Estimated in 2001, 20 years ago, that the unstable part of Cumbre Vieja is at least 15 kilometers wide in the north-south direction. And a computer simulation by the Banfield Hazard Research Center in London, which you just recently saw. The University of California also indicates that waves derived from the impact would spread beyond the Canary Islands towards the United States, Europe, and Brazil, affecting a total of 100 million people. Worldwide, our safety is not the number one concern of those we elected to keep us safe. How do you sit on this information with 100 million lives at stake? So take this part for what you want, call it conspiracy theory, call it reaching, but it starts to make more sense as to why getting the jabby jab is number one on the list of things to do by FEMA when preparing for a natural disaster. Makes one think that if there are survivors, only those who are jabbed are getting rescued first, if at all article from the UK about Mount Etna that the East Coast is not the only one we have to worry about. So what do I mean that the East Coast isn't the only thing to worry about? Semispokneo in Alaska started erupting on the 20th, sending smoke plumes and so showing signs that it's going to continue. Now the danger of this volcano starting after all of this other activity in the Atlantic is this volcano is center to the Pacific Ring of Fire. It is right there in the middle of the Aleutian Trench. That volcano going off sets off all the others and continues setting off around the world. Not only that, you're now looking at the tectonic plate shifting and the fault lines moving that are attached to the San Andreas Fault. Alaska Volcano Sparks it. Red Alert as major eruption underway, explosions spotted. A red alert warning has been issued by scientists stating that a major eruption of an Alaskan volcano is occurring. Volcanologists have stated that the major volcanic eruption is underway with hazardous activity both on the ground and in the air. Seismic observations represent an increase in eruptive activity at the site of the volcano. Scientists have upgraded the aviation color code and volcano alert level to a red warning. The volcano is called Semisapaknoi. It is located on Unyak Island, which is part of the Rat Islands group in the western Aleutian Islands of Alaska. Observations of Semisapaknoi Volcano shows an increase in ash plumes rising to 15,000 feet into the atmosphere. The ash emissions from the volcano have increased in frequency and intensity and can be seen on satellite images rising above the weather clouds. The ash cloud, blown by high winds, has extended approximately 60 miles to the southeast of the volcano. Alaska Volcano Observatory reported, explosions have been observed throughout the day and increased sulfur dioxide gas emissions have been observed in satellite data this afternoon. These observations represent an increase in eruptive activity and aviation color code and volcano alert level are being increased to a red warning. This is biblical prophecy, which means it has to come to pass. We can't stop it. And you've heard from myself and a few other prophets, some big name, some you'd never heard of, saying for the past week or so we've been hearing Yahweh with a loud booming voice of thunder, screaming for his vengeance for the innocent. Innocent lives lost in the womb, Innocent children missing worldwide annually at a million. So we can't stop this. We can't pray this away. 
but we can pray that lives are saved. We can pray that we have the news in time to evacuate if necessary. If you've felt through this whole thing, the Holy Spirit tugging at you to get you and your family out, don't hesitate. That's the protection trying to save you. I'm not God, and I'm not saying that this is coming tomorrow. What I am saying is all of the events are lining up in perfect order compared to the studies that have been done since the mid-90s for what they warned would come. So pay attention to international news. Pay attention to what they're saying is happening. And then make the best decision with God and your family to get to safety. Pray for those who are lost to come to repentance. Father God, we thank you for all your many mercies and your blessings, for your warnings. And we thank you that you are sovereign still and that you are going to guide your people to places of safety. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you have done and are going to do. We thank you that while this is warning of the end of the end, we know that you are still sovereign. I pray, Lord, that eyes and hearts and ears are softened to your voice and that people repent and turn back to you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.